I am going to show you uh, what I'm working on. So currently I'm working on my little CMS. You can follow along at this GitHub repo. But basically what I have is an editor on the left. I'm using Monaco VS Code. And then on the right, I have a preview. Um, it's rendered with an iframe. And I, I rendered with an iframe because I needed to stop the bleed of the Tailwind CSS reset. And But the problem with this iframe is that it just keeps re-rendering every time and flashing like that. It's very, very unappealing. So actually I need to take out the iframe and um, go back to a div and I'll show you the problem with the div. So let's head out to the component and let's look at the iframe. And instead of the iframe, uh, we're going to uh, we're going to swap it out to a div. So div class name. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, let's show you let me show you what happens over there. Um, so this may cause a rebuild. Oh, that's actually good enough. That's great. Uh, so this is a div. Uh, unfortunately, you know, I'm trying to, uh, I'm supposed to apply. Um, so like, it doesn't look very good. <laughs> so, so, but, uh, you know, one, one, I think one benefit of this is that I can actually start editing and it, and, it, and it's going to preview correctly. Um, well, it's, it doesn't actually preview anything. Hang on. Maybe I'm just too far down. Uh, let me preview something up here. So at least it doesn't flash, which is great. But I want it to also be able to show uh, default styling, right? Like here, uh, I have a list, but it's showing just like, it's, it's always like a normal paragraph. <clears throat> and that's because Tailwind applies a CSS reset. Um, so in this LI uh, over here, the LI has been reset somewhere in the base to list style none, right? So I need to turn this off. Um, and how come it doesn't work? I don't know. I, I need, I need to turn this off. Right. So, so basically I need to unreset the CSS reset just specifically for this, uh, for this div section that is uh, showing the preview. Right. Um, whereas I still want Tailwind CSS to apply for everything else outside of the preview. So essentially, um, I wrote, I wrote this blog post, but, I'm, but you know, this, this video is basically showing you how to do it. Um, so let's actually see where we're going to do it. Um, I think I have a unreset.css over here and we need to use, uh, SCSS. So I think if I just switch out, um, in my CSS over here. So this is a normal Next.js setup with a pages field. Uh, and then, and then because I'm using Tailwind, uh, instead of, so instead of pages, um, I import the CSS over here and then Next.js consumes that tailwind, tailwind.css over here. So what I really need to do is to do um, unreset.scss and just paste in uh, the things that I've already pre-made. Actually, um, what I need to do is just copy over uh, my reset so so this is this is the raw like this is ideally uh what the browser uses so something i found off of google but uh you need to diff that against uh and against what tailwind already gives you and you should ideally use the same design system that uh, you had from tailwind so that um you can uh you can have some sort of consistent look right like uh, a blue should be the same uh, blue as you know the rest of the apps blue um, and the padding and so on and so forth. This is a little bit of an over optimization, but why not? Right? Like you already have a design system tool like Tailwind. So, um, here's the, here's the gist that I, that I actually made, um, that basically gives you an unreset class and you can copy that, um, and just say, you know, let me put it over here. So now this is, this says dot, un, dot unreset. Um, this, uh, you can ignore the syntax highlighting here because, um, I don't know, my, uh, my ID isn't really set up for this. Okay. So let's actually show, uh, show this working. Uh, I think if I just type in this and then, um, I think I may have to import, uh, this. So I have a demo over here if you want to check it out, um, which where I, where I actually showed how to do this to wind. Um, yeah, so I at import uh, on reset.css at the bottom. So now, so now tailwind.css is at the top and then on reset.css is at the bottom. And then the final step is to change this uh, to on reset. So all its children also on reset. 
Okay, let's see. Um, let's see whether that works. Uh, I, you know, I didn't really rehearse this, but I mean, I'm I'm, I'm confident that the solution works. Sometimes, um, you know, the the implementation that right now that I use, um, I use Monaco, and this takes a while to compile, and that's what that's what the compiling is uh, is going on over there. So one of the solutions uh, that I've discovered recently is that uh, someone's made uh, a web component Monaco, uh, which means that I can just import it as a web component and I may not, I might not have to compile it. So this is worth exploring. Uh, I'm just not super confident that it works and it seems to obscure some options that I might need. Um, so yeah, but I mean, you know, it's, oh, GitHub pages is down. Oh well. Um, okay, well, is this done yet? Compilation can take a while, especially when I'm recording. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, basically how and why to reset CSS. Uh, un unreset a CSS reset, which is basically uh, within a scope, you want to put in HTML, but then also you want to have that HTML look uh, acceptable rather than just like the base uh, on reset. <coughs> uh, okay, uh, this doesn't seem to be, this seems to be going on forever, so I'm just going to kill it and then restart. I was also unsure if I could just rename CSS to dot .scss like that and have it still work. Actually, um, I, just re I just realized I need to um, change this to SESS as well. Um, otherwise, yeah, it's going to import the wrong thing. Yeah, whatever. All right, all right. Bunch of bundling. I need to install SAS. Oh, I guess I need to install SAS. Um, so that's npm id sass. You know, these are instructions that I didn't really leave for myself. Um, but I, I mean, I guess I, I guess I did it in my practice run. I mean, I didn't, I didn't practice for this recording, but um, I implemented it in my, uh, in my starter. So, so essentially, uh, the Dev Two CMS that I'm building um, is an instance of the broader starter that uh, that I'm building for future use. Anyway, so let's try again. This is definitely too slow. Uh, I've seen, I've also, I've also started an awesome repo for Monaco editor. Um, and this actually just shows other uh, attempts and resources for Monaco and uh, one of the resources, this um, Expo resource, actually discussed uh, pre-compiling the editor. So he made pre-built bundles for the editor and workers, so um, so he doesn't have to keep rebuilding it. Right now I'm rebuilding it all the time, and I'm also running into errors. <laughs> Hang on. Fail to find the file on reset.css. Of course you did. Because it's SCSS. Oh, it's done. All right, let's um, try to make it work. So usually what happens is <coughs> Next.js compiles uh, the core app, but then uh, because I already have this page open, it starts uh, requesting that this page. And this is the one with the editor. That's why uh, it takes a while to actually compile this page. Uh, um, I'm not really sure how long it's going to take. And I have nothing to explain to you about. So I think I'm just going to, oh, it's nice. OK, I'm loading. Loading, I'm so loading, I'm nobody. All right, so, so I have, you know, I have at least basic link stylings here. Um, I don't have the proportions quite right, but I can figure that out later on. Um, 
you know, I think I think this is a, a good first step. Uh, and now let me show you that it works uh, with with the with the default styling as well. All right. So I've restored the styling, um, and and you can see all the dem demonstrations over here as well. So yeah, that's that's really great. And uh, that's why you need to be able to unreset Tailwind CSS reset. Basically, just to recap. We have raw markdown over here, and we want to transpose it through uh, some sort of markdown processor, and then I'll put HTML and put it back on the DOM. Um, so this is typical for like a blog, uh, you know, procedure where you want to output uh, markdown, and the the blog, you know, the the blog's elements are not going to have um, all your Tailwind classes, right? So this is just a, a nice way to unreset. And of course, because now you have uh, all these individual components. If they just don't look right or you want to look them, make them look different, uh, feel free to edit it. Totally fine. Because it's all scoped within this unreset.css. Yeah, that's it. Pretty simple. Cheers.